Welcome, my future YouTubers. We've got a nice video today. The coronavirus lockdown protest by All Gas No Breaks. That's how I like to live my life. All Gas No Breaks. I I've heard this is really funny, so it should be good for a laugh at least. I got every problem with the government saying we can't go out. That's a prohibition. And it's illegal. It's against the Constitution. I it's not against the Constitution. I'm immune compromised. I put that at risk today. I put that at risk today because I got to be here. You really don't, my dude. You really don't need to be there. Particularly if you're immunocompromised. Had to die. No more scared than I am for anything else. Freedom! Freedom! Did that just compare Newscom to Nazis? No more scared than I am for anything else. Freedom! And I mean, at least that guy's honest. He's no more scared than anything else. Freedom! 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 Hi, Hail Newsom? Is that the governor of California or something? Right, right. Gavin Newsom. The name ring about, rung a bell. New governor of California. Thank you, Dave. How many people own the news companies? How many? Well, you tell me. Three, three or how four. Many do, how many does Disney own? How many? How many? I don't know. Well, maybe you ought to find out. You're in the media, aren't you? Yeah, but I'm independent. You're independent what? Independent media. Me and this guy. It's called All Gas, No Breaks. I don't see your badge. Exactly. I don't know. That seemed a little uh, conspiratorial to anyone else. A little maybe questioning of a certain religious group. Good American, a born free American. They're lying about the death tolls. I will take a chance to get a corona. I like how this guy is clearly holding this like you would hold a rifle. Like anyone who has ever been hunting or just carrying a rifle for an extended period of time, this is how you do it. It basically puts all the weight on your whole body instead of having to rely on your arm. And it's a really good way of carrying a rifle for a long period of time. And he's carrying his fucking flag and phone that way. Like that phone is going to fall and shatter. Like you've got a perfectly good pocket there, dude. Why aren't you using it? Coronavirus, weather better than shutting down this economy. I die on my feet, not on my knees. Yeah, I want you to take the vaccine first, Bill Gates. Die on my feet rather than is take a chance to get a coronavirus whether better than shutting down this economy. I die on my feet, not on my knees. Yeah, I want you to take So first of all, it's I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. And where did that quote come from? It's a song, that's right. Oh yeah, Zapata. Yeah. The socialist revolutionary leader of Mexico. I mean, he was still kind of a shitty guy, but he at least tried to be socialist. I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. Every person at this rally is on their knees sucking Trump's dick. Take the vaccine first, Bill Gates. <laughs> I want you to understand. This is China's wet dream to hurt our nation. It's their wet dream. And this is about our liberty, brother. Who do you think's agenda this is? <coughs> Freedom! Why do you think China would want to destroy their number one trading partner? Like, that's the number one thing about trade, right? It increases the flow of money and allows people to have more access to wealth and, and and makes it less likely that people are going to engage in the kind of warfare we saw hundreds of years ago. I mean, decades ago. So why is it... Like, this is a serious question. I understand that there's a lot of rhetoric about how 
China wants to destroy us or we want to destroy China or what have you. But, like, seriously, why would China want to destroy its biggest trade partner? This isn't, this isn't, you know, 100 years ago, 200 years ago when, when, when nations could exist independently. We live in a globalized community. And in a globalized community, the success of one nation is as dependent on the successes of other nations as almost anything else. So by destroying their trade partners, they're weakening themselves and potentially making themselves less wealthy. Because it's not like China is going to roll in here and take over America and all of a sudden our people and production capabilities are going to be theirs without the intermediary. I, I, I literally don't understand this argument. Uh, freedom! Let me rephrase that. I understand the argument, but it doesn't make sense to me. Because it'd be like if you and your neighbor had an agreement that this week you would mow both lawns and next week he would mow, mow, mow both lawns. So one day you decided to sabotage his lawnmower so that he couldn't mow. And then you just have to mow both lawns. Like, it doesn't make sense. Freedom. Prolonged lockdown, basically a slavery. Do you, uh, do you feel enslaved? Uh, I do. I'm a type A lawyer. Being forced to stay home and working in the fields until your hands bleed and your back is crisscro crisscrossed with whip scars is exactly the same things. These are exactly the same. And I am bouncing off the walls of my living room because I can't go out. California, not communism. Everybody cough in my face. Do it. Somebody come cough in my face. <laughs> yes, yeah. cough directly <laughs> in my face. Well, yeah, wait. <laughs> No way. I never did put on hand sanitizer ever. And I don't ever wash my hands. Can you believe that? Believe it because it's true. In my opinion, we're looking at a seasonal flu in a bunch of fake death numbers. Go ahead, America. Touch your face. Go out and have sex and don't worry about touching anything. Fucking touch anything and everything. It makes your immune system stronger. I used to be afraid of raw eggs and raw meat and now I drink raw eggs, and I eat raw meat, and I have been for years, and I'm fucking fine. Every conspiracy you've pretty much ever heard of is all pretty much true. 9-11 was an inside job. No one's ever walked on the moon. The vaccines are poison. Can you cough in my face? See, people are too, they're too scared to even cough when you ask them to. We don't have a civil right to be immortal. If only the healthy people are okay and the people who are at risk get ill, isn't that how it's supposed to be? I, I mean, we are teaching fear, not courage. I call it the original name, the 2019 NCOV, because it's not the SARS, that's the disease. What we have here, statistically, is political science. We have to be able to protect our posterity, pros, pros, posterity, be invade, incur, incentivize <coughs> yourself to be on jury duties. We just need to open the beaches. I can't surf and there's swell. There's perfect barrels and no one out. What's a barrel? A barrel is like the wave. It's a wave. Yeah, there's swell coming, so that means there's going to be big waves and no one's going to be out. So that pisses me off. Barefoot out here. Barefoot out here. Fucking hippies. Well, everyone's accusing everybody of everything, so I wore my Bernie shirt so I can stand with a Trump supporter all day, please. So what's this sign mean? Take off that shirt and burn it, bitch. Uh, it means my family helped build the Underground Railroad. It's just like the Italians. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> God, these people comparing being forced to stay in lockdown to being fucking slaves is triggering the shit out of me. The government is just asking you to stay home so that your grandpa doesn't die. They're not asking you to toil in the fields for three out for for twenty four hours a day. They're asking you to stay home with your Netflix and your Xbox and your Hulu and whatever else you have. Your fucking legal weed in California, and you're comparing it to slavery. You notice how there was like one black dude there at the protest. I mean, even for California, that's low. 
that's low representation. So what does this have to do with uh, the lockdown? Because it's government issued, ordered lockdown. It's time to stand up against the government. It was a long time ago and every single time. Oh, yeah. What does the Spanish flu have to do with anything? So what's the plan? What does the Spanish flu have to do anything? Oh, I don't know. It was just the worst pandemic in U.S. history. And after the first wave and people thought it was taken care of, they went back to normal. And then, like, an order of magnitude, more people died. But no, it has nothing to do with coronavirus. Keep asking questions. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Blowing the shofar. It's like a spiritual, um, a spiritual weapon. Um, that's what they use to bring down the walls of Jericho. Even though we're not trying to bring the walls out here, we just want to get their attention. I'm, I'm on Instagram live right now, bro. We're gonna be live right now. Thanks for talking to us, man. I appreciate you guys that. like a YouTube channel. Or yeah. How's it going, man? So we're baking a stroopwafels. It's a 200-year-old uh, recipe from the Netherlands. Do you think that stroopwafels are an essential service? Essential. Hey, Alex, if you're watching, this is what your countrymen are doing in my country. See, America makes you stupid. Uh, define essential. Essential. Yeah, what's your definition? What's your definition? My definition of essential. Of course, you can do without stroopwafels and you can live, you can o eat oatmeal every uh, day exclusively. So then the oatmeal supply chain is the only essential one. God bless America! God bless the USA! Trump 2020, we love you, Trump! Woo! California for Trump! Can you do it with that? COVID-19 is nothing more than a common cold. Everybody better watch out. Don't take your vaccines. Please tell the 56,000 people who have died of it that it's the common cold. Tell their families that they died of the cold. I dare you. God, the anti-vax movement is the worst fucking thing. Don't take nothing. What's your favorite movie of all time? Favorite movie, Empire Strikes Back. But V for Vendetta is in my top 10. Of course it is. God, the Guy Fox mask was cringy back in 2011, or actually I think it's older than that, when Anonymous started using it. Actually, yeah, it, it, yeah, that was like 2006 or some shit. Jesus. Who is the poo? The, the what? The who, World Health Organization, is the poo. Boy, I'm so glad that she has the uh, privilege to be able to say that the World Health Organization is poo because she lives in, in a country where she has the wealth and position to be able to go to a good doctor. Like, there are definitely issues with the World Health Organization, but to call them poo because they've agreed with the scientific consensus about COVID-19 is that that takes the cake right there. Flat Earth is too legit to quit. Even MC Hammer knows it's the shit. I be getting down like a clown all day. Everybody knows I'm related to Dr. Dre. I said, hell yeah. I said, yeah. If you are related to Dr. Dre, then it is in that 17th cousin, 112th removed. Those beats are whack, yo. Yeah. Dude, I know why the Earth is not flat and why it is flat. I know both sides of the story. Are you related to Dr. Dre? Kinda. Are we all just related because everything's connected hypothetically? I just want everybody to know the truth, though, about Donald Trump. I know there's a lot of Donald Trump fans here, but I think Donald Trump fucking sucks big time dick. I love his broad shoulders. What are you doing here, dude? Whatever. He's carrying the weight of the world. How could any of us withstand what he's been put through? I God, I was on Facebook and... I saw a cousin of mine, who I don't talk to that often, so I don't know what her political leanings are or anything like that, but she posted a an article to Facebook from The Daily Wire, ostensibly debunking the claim that Trump has, that Trump had, that Trump told people to drink bleach. 
which he did. And she said in the comments was like, I don't like to talk bad about people. I can't imagine what he's going through. And while, yes, I will agree. Being president is a difficult, stressful position. I mean, we saw what it did in my lifetime. I've seen what it did to Bush and Obama. But Trump is not treating the, taking this seriously like the job it is. Trump is just kind of, Trump is just being there and golfing. Like, I remember when Obama had his Reddit AMA. He answered five questions over the course of, like, three hours, four hours, something like that. Because it was, like, the one time, like, the, the, the handful of opportunities in that course of time where he had a moment to answer questions. Meanwhile, Trump is tweeting shit posting throughout the day he spends his weekends golfing or at least he did before coronavirus i don't know if he's still going now because that stopped being news three years ago but but i can't imagine what he's going through he's the fucking president this is what he signed up for applaud president trump for having yeah. talked about hydrochloroquine as a real solution and I can talk to you a lot about 5G and 60 gigahertz and what it's going to mimic in your body. I commit suicide. We don't even have 5G in America. And to God and give my body to God to speak through me to fix this and save us. Tyranny. Let's go. Okay, we have someone else here that wants is speaking too. The first thing I have to say is I can still see the cars coming over the bridge. This morning, I started in Orange County at 4 a.m., and there was one car that met me. And at the next stop, it was nine cars, and then it was 20 cars, and then it was 30 cars, and then it was 50 cars, and then we pulled up over here, and you couldn't see the end of the cars. Holy shit. So. All these people potentially being carriers of coronavirus. If there is one person in this crowd who has it and doesn't know it, or thinks it's just a cold or a flu and they'll be fine. If one person has it, then all these people will get it. And statistically, two to four percent of them will die. I have to go because the reason I'm here is for my daughters. And my daughters are really sick and they can't be around all your cell phones because of 5G. And so they're in the car almost dying right now. So I want to say thank you for being What an awful mother. What a horrible, awful, wretched caricature of a mother. She can't be around all you and your cell phones because of the 5G, which doesn't exist in California yet. But you're not worried about coronavirus? You're not worried about taking coronavirus from being around all these people back to her? God. Look, I'm an anarchist. I don't trust the government because it's the government. And by that I mean I don't trust the government in general because it's the government. But when I do trust the government, it's not because it's the government, it's because they've employed experts in the field, in the relevant field. For instance, I like Dr. Fauci. He seems like a pretty cool guy who knows what's going on. So I trust him when it comes to medical things. But these people so badly want a haircut or to be able to get their endless apps at, appetite, at Applebee's or to be able to go golfing. God, I had to unfriend someone. Fortunately, it was an old boss and I not give a shit because they kept spamming the fucking Facebook timeline with, God, I can't wait for them to open up the, col the golf courses. Like, people are fucking dying and you're whining about not being able to go to your ga golf courses. Fucking deal with it. It's not like, golf sucks anyway. In here, let's come back on the first. Socialists of California, line up on the first and tell them why they can't go out there. Even if even if California gets opened back up. General strike 2020, May 1st. May I like my v guns like I like my, like Democrats like their voters, undocumented. This has 
nothing to do with them controlling people. This has everything to do with us trying to keep these guys safe. And if they don't want to be safe, Darwin will handle the, win, the rest. <laughs> I'm not interested in hearing what somebody who got a 1.3 GPA at a public high school has to say about my job. So, <laughs> no, no, no. I actually, I've been at Harvard. Um, yeah. So I, this is something I've actually been meaning to talk about here, the idea that anarchists are, and I saw a really funny meme about it uh, the other day on Facebook, the idea that anarchists are supporting the government shutdown and like why that is. So th this goes to what I've talked about before, this idea that anarchism is complete chaos and, and complete disorder, chaos in the streets, cats and dogs living together, complete insanity. No. Anarchism is the rejection of unjustified hierarchies. We dislike authority for authority's sake. So when you have this, uh, a situation like this, where an authority, a medical authority, in this case, the medical authority and Dr. Fauci, people like this, who are saying, the only way we're going to beat this is if everyone stays home and self-isolates, yada, 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 then anarchists are going to say, okay, an authority has said this, you know, someone with recognized credentials, so we support it. These people think they're being radical, that they're being rebellious and revolutionary, and all they're doing is they're getting down on their knees, they're slowly opening the pants, cupping the balls of the capitalist oligarchs, and lovingly and worshipfully filleting their masters. They're not rebellious. They're fucking bootlickers. And I hope every single one of them gets Corona in Minecraft. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you liked it, like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you. See you next time.